Hi everyone, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com and today I'm going to show you how you can go about adding your premium landing page to the ThemeForest Marketplace. Firstly, when you log in you'll be at your dashboard. Now bearing in mind that you're already an author. And what you need to do is select the category where your landing page will be found. In my case I'm going to put it under marketing. So what I'm actually going to do is add in the name and description of my item and we'll go from there. Now I've prepared this earlier so I'll just go and grab that now. That'll be the name and the description. Now the description does contain HTML tag elements so make sure you add in the ones that you need where you see fit. So I'll make sure that that's correct and also make sure that there's no spelling mistakes. So I've already checked this earlier so it's all good to go. Next I'll need to add in the thumbnail of my template. Now what I want to show you beforehand is just a little template that I have set up for my thumbnails, theme previews, um, which make it easier for me to access them when I develop a new theme or template. So really all it is is just a Photoshop file, it contains the necessary specifications of the thumbnail and over here I just add in the name that I want for my next template and so on. So in this case the name will be Reprise, now I've already exported that so there's no need to do so. And I'll also show you the theme preview that uh, I've created for it, similar kind of scenario here, pretty much just if I was to create a new template, I'd just create a new um, group and that would be good to go. So there they are. So once again we'll be focusing on reprise. Now I've already exported this theme preview as well so I'll just show you how the uploading process goes. So what we'll need to do now is just upload the thumbnail so I'll go do that now. Select choose file go into my reprise folder and this is pretty much the structure um, so what I'll need to do first is just grab the reprise thumbnail I go to save that'll do its thing next I'll need to also upload the reprise theme preview I'll save that and Lastly, I'll need to also select the Reprise main download file. The main download file will contain all the necessary JavaScript, CSS, HTML, PSDs, all that kind of thing that pretty much encompass the template itself. So I'll save that. Now, this can take a bit of time, so what I'm going to do is actually pause the video here, and once it's complete, I'll show you how, it, uh, how the process continues. Okay, so now that we're back, that's uh, finished uploading to the server. So what I'll, before continuing on, I just wanted to show you that um, when you are creating your theme preview zip file, and make sure that they are all zipped up as well, uh, you actually need to follow a specific naming convention, which is, um, like you can see there, it's the theme or template name, and it's just prefixed by 0102 that way the reviewer will know in what order to put your screenshots now in this case I only have the one but if I was to have say 10 screenshots then they'll be able to identify which one goes first and so on and so on now that is a naming convention I think not all authors do that but um, I, I just pretty much follow what, uh, what the instructions say and haven't had an issue um, because of it. So yeah, that's uh, just a tip and just something to be aware of. So what I did is I actually filled out all the details but I'll walk you through exactly what was done. That way I can um, save a, a bit of your time. Uh, pretty much I allocated the, net, the required asset uh, to the corresponding label. So the thumbnail is attached to the thumbnail, theme preview to the theme preview, and the main download file is also um, attached. Next we keep going down and it asks you to select a category. Now I've put it under marketing, landing pages, creative, 
and uh, you can obviously make your decision based on your template or theme just uh, pick one that is you believe is most relevant and uh, you should be okay next high resolution that's actually a new option not sure what that means I assume it's probably talking about the images but for the moment I'm just gonna put NA because uh, I'm not 100% sure on that so let's just leave it as NA next the compatible browsers I've tested across all these browsers with the exception of IE6 and IE7 funnily enough I did test it on IE7 and it looks good I, I don't really support it so I'd rather not uh, put it as a compatible browser following on the template itself is actually based on bootstrap so it's the latest version 2.3.x and then the others uh, maybe it would work across all the others but um, like I said I haven't tested it so I'm not going to select those options following that we have the files that you'll be including and th there they are so it'll contain a laid PSD, HTML files, CSS files and JavaScript files um, no PHP files in this case columns it is pretty much a one column layout um, but you have the option to select the, the one that's applicable to you layout it is responsive so that's already there next it will ask you to select tags the tags are there I've just um, pretty much thought about what tags are applicable to the theme and just added it in there's a limit of 15 keywords as you can see here so obviously you can put less but um, if you do go over that then you'll probably get a validation error so I think there's 15 but uh, once I hit upload we'll see what uh, notice I get if, if I've put in more or not and lastly message to reviewer in this case I don't really have anything to notify the reviewer of but um, this area is usually good if you are making minor changes maybe there was a bug in the theme or template that you uploaded and then you need to let the reviewer know hey I fix this and that so um, please review and approve when possible something like that it's um, in this case I'm not putting anything in so I think that's about it I'm just gonna make sure everything's good to go yep yep everything looks okay so I'm gonna upload now we'll see if I get a validation error of some kind otherwise that'll be sent through to the reviewer and at times it can take anywhere from oh, actually there you go it tells you up to a week for it to be reviewed and there's been times when I've had the theme approved maybe within 24 to 48 hours but other times it has taken a bit longer it I guess it depends how busy the guys are so up to a week so that's been submitted and uh, now we'll wait and see if it gets approved I'll uh, keep my eye on the uh, little bar here which will tell me how the process is going and yeah hopefully we'll get uh, good news soon if not and uh, I get a, a rejection notice that's okay I'll take the feedback on board and we'll go again with the necessary improvements so until we hear from the review team that's all I have for now so thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to go to themechills.com and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm up to there thanks again bye